That's how the lecturer sent to the Russian class. Come on now, yo. I've been talking to you for the past two minutes and you're treating me like I'm a ghost. Is it a bad thing to come and visit you and gist with you? Babe, I'm really sorry I've not been paying attention to you. Life won't stop me from worrying. I'm tired. Ever since Dad died, life has not been bearable for my family and I. Just a few minutes ago, my landlord sent a notification that my rent has expired. And you sent me packing anytime soon. Where do I get the money from? My uncle is not even making the matter easy. He told me he's tired of paying my fees and he will soon stop, though he has tried, but I will soon be a school dropout. Dropout? God forbid, are you? This is not the time for you to say you want to be a dropout. We're about to finish our final year and you say you want to be a dropout. Please don't bring up um, evil thoughts like that anymore. Uh uh. Evil thoughts. <laughs> it seems you can't relate with my pain right now. My uncle made it clear to me that after my university, I'll be the one sponsoring his children to school. That's even if I finish. How, how do I cope? Like, God. Things are not easy. They've spent all their life savings on my siblings and I. And they're getting old. So after this body, I have other bodies to bear. It is well. It is well. Have you told your mom about it? Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Hmm? Because if you tell her, the damage this thing can cause on her. Don't bother. It is well. Ah. Time for lectures. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where'd you drop your bag? Tell me where you are coming from now. I've been waiting for you for the past two hours. You don't tell me you didn't see my miss call. Eh? Shiba, Shiba, Shiba. Shiba, Shiba. Now I have great news for you. Did you hear? I have give you two days to pack out of this house. I have someone that will rent this space for me. Did you hear? Two days to pack out. Don't beg me. Don't beg me. Pack out. Two days. I give you what? Two days. Hey God! Hey God! I'm getting tired. Is this feeling me? Is this how you keep looking at me? Are you not a caring father anymore? A caring father, and you will always be a caring father. <laughs> Hi, yo. What happened? <laughs> Hi, yo. I'm tired. My strength has failed me. Just before you came in, my landlord told me I have two days to make payment for my rent. <laughs> Do you know that there's a solution to all your problems? Solution? Yes, solution. Yeah. How, how, how do we go about it? Ayo, 
If you believe me, the only secret is just to come. Come? To where? Your house? Your church? Where exactly? Come. How you come? Come, 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 come. Please. Can you speak in clear terms? Make me understand where exactly am I coming to? Just let's hang out tomorrow and I promise to show you the secret. Hang out? It seems you did not hear what I just explained now. I have two days to look for 75,000 Naira. Do you have 75,000 Naira to offer? Hiyo, you just have to trust me on this one, eh? I pray that God will carry your burdens for you. I pray that God will strengthen you. I saw how moody you were in class today. That was why I even ran after you, eh? I pray that God will give you strength to go through all of this. Don't forget tomorrow. Let's hang out tomorrow and I promise to show you the secret, eh? Mm. Thank you. Baba, this is my friend, I Mude. The person I talked to you about. He beats you to come. He's calling on to you. You have tried with your strengths and your might, and they have failed you. He beats you to come. Tomorrow might be too late. Come now. Baba, that is exactly why I brought her in. So that you can tell her your life story, especially how you came about Jesus. God bless you, my daughter. Amen. Except the Lord build the house. The labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city. They that do, they do in vain. My daughter, except the Lord help you, you cannot help yourself. Back in those days, my youth days, I used to think there was no need for God. No time dedicated for God at all. Until one very day, I fell sick very sick and I was bedridden for several days. Hmm. Then my money was put to shame. My strength failed me. On a particular day, some evangelist came to the hospital where I was. On getting to my ward, the leader looked straight at me and the exact word I said to you was the same thing he said to me. He said, he bids you to come. He's calling unto you. You have tried with your strength and your strength has failed you. You have tried with your money and your money has failed you. He's calling unto you. Come now because tomorrow might be too late. My daughter, I had no choice but to surrender everything to God. My money, my all, to God, to Jesus. I remembered he opened God's word to me in Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Let me read to you. says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Take my yoke upon you, and I will give you rest. The last part, for my yoke is easy, and my body is light. Jesus is calling unto you. Come now, my daughter, because tomorrow might be too late. I am ready to give God 
I am ready to surrender my life to Jesus. My daughter, <laughs> you have made the right decision. You have made one of the best decisions of life. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, help me. Help me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I have come. I have come unto you. Unto you. Help me. Help me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Congratulations, Amen. my brother. Jesus will carry your bodies for you. Amen. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, my daughter. All right, um, Ore explained everything to me. So the money for your rent is no problem at all. I will send everything to you now. Okay? Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I've sent it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank sir. You so much, sir. Thank God. God bless thank you, God. sir. Thank, God. thank, God. thank, God. thank, God. thank God. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So take care of yourself, Ore, and you too. Thank you, sir. Don't forget, Jesus will carry your body. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's go back on. Oh, no, sir. I said you're going too far. I'm not going too far. I'll give you two days until you're expired now. Yeah, let's go. Sir, I have your money here with me. I have your money here with me. I'll make the transfer now. You'll make which transfer? I don't joke my money. You want to make a transfer? Sir, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'll transfer. Please, sir. Can I have your account number? Yeah, let me give you. If you are playing out, my my injury. I'm serious, sir. Yeah, yeah. Three one. Three two. Three two. Which bank, sir? First bank. Andrew. Andrew. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You receive an alert, sir. Yeah. Yes, I've not sir. heard anything. Ah. Let me check my. They just debited you, Abby. Okay, yes, sir. I knew you were a good child. <laughs> well done, yeah, yeah. Go and enjoy yourself. Go and enjoy yourself. Go and enjoy yourself. And we'll see, eh? Come on, Giddy. Become a Bible scholar, a prayer warrior. Only you, hey, one that shall never end, <laughs> babe. It's not what you think. It bids me to come. Who bid you to come? Do you know Oroluwa? Ore, Ore. Okay, yes, I know her. The one in our class. That one that is never sad. Mm. I remember her. I remember her. Two days ago, she came to my place and she took me to a Baba's place. Baba? Ah, yo. So you are going to Baba Lawo's house now? Baba. Not Baba Lawo. Okay. Baba Mberu Mi. Yes, that's his name. On getting there, he explained his life story to me he is a very rich man he is a very like very very rich he spent his money anyhow on a faithful day he fell sick and was bedridden for days then some missionary came to him they preached the gospel to him and on that very day, he gave his life to Christ. Then he made a vow that he will use his life as a bridge where people come to Christ. Only if you could come, only if you can accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. <laughs> no doubt, you will start shining just as I am. See, Ayo, in fact, I am ready to come. In fact, I have already come. 
I am ready to give my life to Jesus. You have made the right decision. Can I pray with you? Say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, have come to you today. I have come to you today. I am ready. I am ready. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Accept me today. Accept me today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wow, wow, wow. To God alone be all the glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a powerful ministration we've received this season. We glorify the name of the Lord. We glorify the name of the Lord. Can you just wave your hands unto Jesus and just bless his holy name? Just magnify him. Thank him so much once again for ministering to us in this powerful manner. May the name of our God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. You know what? I sense in my spirit, I sense so strongly in my spirit that one or two of us are here. Uh, we, we really need to sincerely come unto Jesus Christ uh, so that it can cleanse us so that it can make us old and make us new. If you are here after, after being ministered to in this manner you know that uh, you, you, you deserve and you desire that the Lord would, would, would forgive you, will forgive your sins. You want to come unto him and say, oh God forgive my sins wash me clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you are here like that, or if you are watching from anywhere uh, around the world, you, you desire that the Lord will cleanse you, will cleanse you, will, will, will overhaul you. Uh, this is the season, beloved. This is the season, my brothers and sisters, that you need to uh, just come unto him. Come unto him and let him cleanse you. Let him renew you. Let him transform you. If you are here like that, can you please raise up your right hand? Raise up your right hand. Please don't be distracted. This is a season for a new dawn, a new beginning in your life. God wants to cleanse you as you return to him, as you come on to him in the name of Jesus Christ. I am pleading with you, come unto him at this season. Come unto him. I sense so much that somebody is here. You need his forgiveness. You need him to, to, to transform you, to touch you. Come unto him. Come unto him. The Bible says the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life to Christ Jesus. Come unto him this season. Let him this, touch you. Let him cleanse you. Begin to come, begin to come, begin to come. As even as you raise up your right hand, begin to come. Come and surrender your life. Come and rededicate your life. Maybe somebody is also there. You gave your life to Christ before and you went back into immorality and into iniquity. You need to come unto him. Come unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. As you come, he's going to forgive you. He's going to cleanse you. He's going to make you whole. Please come. Please come. I know somebody is there that God is ministering to in this manner at this particular time. Come on to Jesus. Please come. And as you come, his power is here. His grace is here. His, his mercy is here. His compassion is here to cleanse you to make you whole and to grant you a brand new beginning. To grant you a brand new beginning. As you come, I'm going to pray that the Lord will touch you. Oh, may the name of our God be glorified. Begin to come. Still, still keep coming. Keep coming, please. Come from wherever you are. And as you come, I lift you up unto God's hands. 
I commit each and every one of you that is so genuine, that is saying, oh God, forgive my sins. I come to you and new and afresh. I commit all of you unto, your, unto God's hands. I commit you unto God's hands. Each and every one that is making this bold step, taking this bold step, may God show you mercy. May God forgive your sins. May God grant you a brand new beginning. May God remove your names from the book of death and destruction. And may God write your names in the book of life. May God save you to the uttermost. Come unto him as you, as you have made up your mind to return back to him today. May you be a brand new person. May your future be so glorious and be so beautiful and the grace to serve him the grace to live in purity in holiness all the days of your life may that grace be resting upon you be released upon you right now right now right now right now right now and i plead the blood of jesus christ over each and every one of you and over each and every one of us attending this conference may the blood of jesus christ avail for us everyone online or on site here. I pray the Lord will touch us, will heal us, and will deliver us. May the name of our God be glorified. Lift up your two hands, everyone. And let's begin to worship the Lord. Let's begin to worship Him. Let's worship Him. All of us that have uh, that have come here to say, we are, we, are, we, are, we are asking for His forgiveness. You will be attended to. You will be ministered to. And the Lord of hosts will be glorified. May the name of our God be glorified. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. All the organizers of this program, may they be richly blessed. May they be elevated. May they be fully blessed by the power of the Lord. Thank you, righteous Father. Blessed be thy holy name. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.